I believe this is video number four for Top View of a City. And on this video, I want to talk about how to create some basic windows for your buildings. I'm going to zoom in to make this a little easier to see. So here we go. Okay. And we're looking at, let's do this video, this, this, excuse me, not video, this building first. And I'm going to put windows on this face of the, of the building. Now to make it easier, I'm going to put X's where I want my lines to go. So I've got evenly spaced right here, right here, right here. And I've got to go back to my X, so i got to go exactly down to where my X was. And I stop at the red line, and there's my first line, okay? Now my second line goes from the second X exactly back, okay? And now on this one, and there I have my vertical lines going to the vanishing point. I want to do the same thing on this side, so I'll put another X here, and we'll put one right about here, and one right here. Now, I'll do the same thing, drawing back exactly to my vanishing point, which is here, from my X here, and I stop at the red line at the base of the building. And then, let me do it again, here it is. And then, and there we go. Now, for one or two buildings, you can actually leave it like this, or you can put the horizontal lines in, and they just have to be parallel with your roof. So, look like that. And then the next one, slide down, and there we go. Now you don't have to put a lot of verticals in or horizontals in. Just put a few in. Now is this the ruler parallel with this roof line? And yes, it is. So put it in. Let me slide it down. Go. Now I'm going to do a different style of windows on this building. I'm going to do more of an actual square window. First thing I want to do is make my line that's closest to this edge right here. And I'll put another one in. And it's going to be a little smaller than my first. If you look, there it is. Let me make sure we're focused here. Okay. Now, on the top line here, you've got to be parallel with the roof line again. You stop. And now, from the edge of that, Got to go back to my vanishing point. Put my first line in. I guesstimate where I need to stop. Put the bottom line of the window in. And then you have that. Now I'm going to put my second one in. I need to be parallel with my other window line. So this line and this line are both parallel to each other. Now I'll go back to my vanishing point. And stop there. Okay. Then we'll put the last one in. Okay. Now, 
that's two different styles of windows. You can use them for either one. Now, to break this up a little bit, I'm going to show you how to make trees and maybe a fountain. I've got a lot of space right in here. So I want to fill that up a little bit with some landscaping. Now, you want to draw your trees just like big blobs of shapes. So it could look like that. Now, in order to finish it, you might want to shade it in. And this is okay for back and forth shading for this is fine. And there's a tree. All right. And I'll say I want to uh, make a fountain right over here. You just make a circle. It's a big fountain. And you make another circle around the outside of the first one. And there you have your fountain. Now you make, just from the center of the fountain, just make lines that kind of curve. And there's your fountain. Okay, now, um, let's do another tree right here. And I want to show you one last neat little detail on this video. We have all these spaces on the roofs, and we can have lots of fun with that. We can make pools and stuff on top of the roofs. So we'll try a pool. And the pool is going to be here. And you can see the line there? That's my first line of my pool. There's my second line. And just make a rectangle. Now, you want to think about where your vanishing point is. It's right here. So I'm going to see the edge of the pool on the inside over here. Now, watch this. Now I go down from there. Look like that. And this one goes back to here. Alright, and there's my pool. Now, if you want to show where the water is, you can just make a little wavy line right here. And another one here. And then just shade it in lightly. And it'll look like water. And there's a pool. Uh -oh. Looks like my camera froze. Oh, there we go. There we go. So there's my pool. You can make diving boards. Now, if you think you can do the diving board without a ruler, that's fine. You just want you want to have things be as straight as possible. That line. Was. On the board, a little point. Like that. Okay, you can make tables and chairs next to the pool. There we go. There's a there's a Long table for sun tanning, or not a table, but a, a chair. Nilabu. Another, another chair. It's just a square. A table could be a round table right here. Um, just an idea of what you can do with the tops of your buildings. You can put a basketball court on there, you could put a garden. You could say, okay, you even have a tree up here. So I'll put a tree in it. Shade it in a little darker than the pool water. 
and there you go. Now we're going to stop this video here and see how it recorded for you. Anyway, to review, let's uh, talk about what we did. We started with Windows, we went to these type of windows, went to details, went to pools, went to trees, and that'll be the end of this video.